Hi, it's Dwyer, DigitalAssetLife.com, a free site, GamblersAdvisory.com, a free site. It's Friday, March 12th, 2021. Let's discuss some investment ideas. Nothing I say in this video should be construed as investment advice. It's being offered for entertainment purposes only. I'm just telling you what I like, what I'm doing. But first remember, <clears throat> the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now let me summarize some earlier videos I made here online, some investment ideas I'm pursuing. I believe the best investment on the board, whether it's equities, whether it's uh, cryptocurrency, is Bitcoin. I view Bitcoin as a store of value. I view Bitcoin as greatly undervalued right now. The market is just developing. The demand is high. Some people are just learning about the technology, which is a technological breakthrough. Um, I think if I had one investment to make right now, it would be in Bitcoin. Also in the crypto world, uh, for me, again, I'm just telling you what I have pursued and I'm still pursuing. I believe the premier means of exchange is Dash. By the way, um, Google Dash and Stakehound, you'll find that you can now stake Dash. You don't have to be a master node holder. Understand too, there's some um, exchanges, the Voyager Exchange, for example, that pays you 3% on the Dash you hold on the site. You don't even have to have any kind of technical brilliance whatsoever, right? You can just deposit it and get interest. You don't even have to play around in the world of DeFi for that. And of course, the Dash Investment Foundation is one of the more underreported stories in the entire investment world. You have a cryptocurrency that's actually making equity investments, um, getting an ownership share of emerging companies. In other words, you buy Dash, you not only get a great cryptocurrency, you also get to participate in really what's a venture capital firm, right? Look that up, Dash Investment Foundation. For me, by far, the best interest rate opportunity. I don't even know how this is possible, but I can tell you firsthand that it works, is on Kraken right now. K-R-A-K-E-N, right? Kraken, and understand, Kraken is regulated. They've dotted the I's and crossed the T's here in the United States. Not all cryptocurrency exchanges are created equally. Kraken is one of the elite exchanges. Understand on Kraken, if I want, I can trade yen. I can trade foreign currencies on Kraken in addition to cryptocurrencies. Well, Kraken is offering 12% interest. It still blows my mind. 12% interest on Polkadot and Polkadot is one of the major cryptocurrencies of our time. I view them as an alternative to Ethereum, a better alternative, quite frankly, especially since Ethereum 2.0 seems to be very slow in coming. And Kusama, Polkadot's sister coin, which has been up big of late. Since my last video, Kusama's up big. Folks, you can get 12% just by staking Dot and Kusama on Kraken. That's simply outrageous, right? That's an opportunity that if you um, overlook it, you might regret it. I'm not giving investment advice. This is just what I'm doing. I'm staking both on Kraken right now. Again, 12% on Polkadot. Think about it. 
12% on Kusama. Understand, Kusama is the more experimental blockchain. Uh, finally, for me, the best electric vehicle play, and I've been on here talking about some EV companies, but for me, the best electric vehicle play isn't even an electric vehicle company. It's copper. Right? Electric vehicles have a lot of copper in them. If you believe in a green revolution, copper is where you want to look. And in the copper world, it's very hard to find, in my opinion, a better stock than Freeport McMoran. Again, Freeport McMoran, the symbol, I believe, is FCX. Right? I believe that copper is still in the early innings of what's going to be a multi-year bull market and rather than buy you know one EV maker right and at times I've owned NEO for example right there are many other companies obviously there are many of you who own Tesla and with Tesla they bought 1.5 billion dollars of Bitcoin and that arguably might be the most valuable part of the company going forward, right? But my point is simply, if you believe in the coming EV revolution, then you necessarily have to believe, in my opinion, just based on the components of the car, that copper is going to be a huge play. Huge. Right? Freeport McMoran, by the way, is up big the last few months as it is. Right? So, rather than get Tesla stock, benefit when Tesla stock goes up, but not so much when others in the space go up. You can get copper and benefit when practically any EV car gets sold. Let me also offer a new idea here. Right? Um, you know, folks, when oil gets to $100 a barrel, you'll realize that you missed the boat. You mean to tell me today I can get Exxon for less than $70 a share? A company that religiously pays dividends. A company that is vertically integrated, right? Let's not get too carried away with this move away from gasoline combustion engines. I like to hedge plays. I also like great deals and buying great companies at cheap prices. Exxon at this price, and the symbol is XOM, is just an overwhelming bargain to me. Overwhelming. Right? Just look up their dividend history. Understand that oil right now is reasonably priced. Just understand that if we have inflation, energy prices could skyrocket. Just look up historical trends. And if they skyrocket, you're going to think to yourself, wow, you mean to tell me on March the 12th, 2021, some hack on YouTube was talking about buying Exxon when oil was down below $70 a barrel, right? At that point, you're practically printing money with a great company, Exxon. Let me offer another play I like. You know, um, the crypto space has been taking off, as you can imagine. Well, understand that means a lot of things. For proof-of-work cryptos, think Bitcoin, for example. There's a lot of mining that goes into Bitcoin, right? Well, you want companies that are perfectly positioned. So they can profit from Bitcoin mining. They can also profit from the use of computers in these new automobiles. And one of those companies, and I know it's expensive. I know it has a very high PE. 
But let me just say, there is a school of thought, and I believe in that school of thought, that if you want quality, sometimes you have to pay for it. Also, sometimes the best values on the board are expensive plays. I like NVIDIA. Earlier in this video, I mentioned NIO, the EV car maker from China. Did you know that NVIDIA has a deal with NIO where NVIDIA is going to help NIO with the computerized display and the artificial intelligence in some NIO cars? Would it surprise you to also know that NVIDIA, of course, is heavily involved, is heavily used in cryptocurrency mining? I think this company is a cash cow. I think the structural change toward cryptocurrency, the emergence of cryptocurrency, is going to necessarily drag NVIDIA with it. Right? I also think, too, as more artificial intelligence is used in automobiles, I believe a GPU maker like NVIDIA is going to profit handsomely, right? It's expensive. It's not for the timid. I like it. Finally, let me just say too, you know, it's absurd to call a company worth more than $500 billion in terms of market cap. A bargain. But we right now have a shortage in semiconductors. Right? Think about it. All the computing that's going on around you. The increased use of semiconductors in automobiles. Right? We're using semiconductors in ways we didn't used to. Well, folks, there's a shortage right now. And I believe. Taiwan Semiconductor, TSM, is the symbol, is a spectacular play right here, right? Now, let's just point out the obvious. This is a company that's worth more than half a trillion dollars, <clears throat> right? But they are a giant in the semiconductor space. An absolute giant. There's a semiconductor shortage. They have the scaling to ramp up. <clears throat> they have the resources. They have the name. Right? In my opinion, when you have a shortage, that's a major opportunity to make some money. Especially with one of the proven leaders in the area. Right? I like Taiwan Semiconductor. Again, TSM is the symbol. It's something I've bought recently. Finally, let me just say this. Grayscale. Their Bitcoin trust. The symbol is GBTC. I haven't bought this yet because I own Bitcoin. Right? So, you know, I was wondering to myself, gee, <clears throat> why would I buy the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, when I can own Bitcoin and not pay a premium, <coughs> even though GBTC solves a lot of problems, right? If you buy GBTC, you don't have to worry about storage, at least not you being responsible for the storage. You can delegate that to them. Right? They hold the coins in trust for you. Right? So safety, someone can come in your office, they can have a gun, they can try to rob your Bitcoin. Guess what? You don't have the Bitcoin to rob. Rather, you own shares of GBTC. So I was reluctant to pay the premium for Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. Well, guess what, folks? The premium's gone right now. For some odd reason, you're getting Bitcoin 
in the form of GBTC. In other words, Bitcoin that they hold in trust for you. You're getting that Bitcoin at a discount. Because Grayscale is actually going off right now at a price less than its net asset value. This is a market mispricing. It happens every once in a while. So here I get to get Bitcoin cheaper than the price of Bitcoin. In other words, Bitcoin's on sale. I get to get Bitcoin on sale and I get to use their custodial services. I don't have to worry about holding the Bitcoin. All I have to do is have shares of GBTC. Oh my goodness, that's a bargain. The next Bitcoin purchase I make will be picking up some GBTC if I make a purchase within the short term. Obviously, I have some other investments on my plate that I want to make, but let's just say, for me personally, I love the idea of buying Bitcoin for less than the market price, especially when I don't have to worry about storage. So that's how I see it this Friday morning. Let me hear from you. If there are deals you want to discuss in either the equity space or the crypto world, then I hope you do so in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.